the Burma campaign hard. It is uh, over to Axis, mission number three, without generals. Okay, so. Start moving up. Commando. This is quite a long mission. And to go all the way up. Okay, we will level two industry. Not very useful. Mm. Let's see. I count on my allies to support me because I'm doing an attack with a much weaker unit. Instead, I'm stronger, I'm attacking land troops in the water. Turning the sitting duck. The other opportunity I see here in infantry, general. Which I will try to take down as much as I can. When you attack rocket artillery, try not to stay close to others, <coughs> as they can hit more than one target. <coughs> not in this case. Easy. So I have two cities with level two industries, so I cannot produce much. I guess a medium tank, just to populate a bit my ranks. All right. I think it will be useful also to block the troops from landing. So I will move my rocket artillery there and still go after the general. 391 though, it's a long way to Tipperary. Oh, that's cool. I guess still the city. In this game, the beauty is that when you kill an enemy with a tank, you always get another shot if you have unlocked the technology. So there's no doubt, no uncertainty here. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, we got rid of this general. That's good. Okay, we have a mor moral benefit. Let's take advantage. This medium tank. Get rid of that. I intend to take the harbor. This harbor is kind of useless though. I should have avoided probably. But still, let's check 130, 120. And 187. Hmm. Without general, I don't have that firepower. I will focus on the 
Sea Troops. And also focus on reducing this guy. Always target the weakest of the enemies. Good. I now wipe out completely the force here. There is only this ship, which is useless. Let's move up. <clears throat> I take advantage of the double shot always. Remember, I say oh, when you always move and hit something. Now that's mean. Surround. Uh -huh. so Ninety-five. I keep producing inferior units, but still the quantity in some cases overcomes the quality. All right. 25. After this mission, I'm going to play it with generals just for fun. And I will link it to this video so you can watch it at the end of the campaign. And you will understand why I like to play with generals. Gee, I don't have a single heavy tank. I check I have to go all the way up there here. Sometimes you may see a green circle in one of the target. This is to unlock some skills. So where do I do more damages? Here. My only heavy tank. Huh. Just to diversify, I would invest in the Hobbit, sir. Okay. This mission looks quite simple, but it's very long. And uh, this guy doesn't look the easiest thing to kill. <sighs> I will just go in uh, 
suicidal attack, right? Yeah. The steel, when you set on the enemy industry, you steal them the resources. You spend money bombarding. I think it's worth it doing it. I'm fed up of investing in medium. Thanks. So I'm surrounding the gen. This is tempting though. It can be easily conquered. And now send this guy. Yep. Okay. This requires a bit of patience, but we will prevail. See, also take advantage for stealing a bit of the enemy farm. Use the artillery to weaken the fortress. Where can I do damage? Nowhere. Well, I had to spend the money somehow, so another medium tank it will be. Protect my city. Okay, now the general is starting to freak out. Okay, the sound suggests that we're taking the fortress. And now you see it's easier. 285. One forty nine. Yeah, yeah, hard to die. Eh? Ninety three. If I do the math, I can send enough fighter to kill him. Let's see. Eighteen. Hmm. I still have four. We can still do it. What the heck? Yeah, it's worth it, you know. Now I get Mandalay, and basically it's game over because what can this guy do anymore? I just have to conquer this and that. But now I have all the cities. And especially, I am. Mandalay is a level 3 industry, finally. You can produce heavy, car, heavy tanks, rocket artillery. And now let's, let's take advantage of this morale drop.
I want to move quickly. Some units north. I'll go for rocket artillery, which has the benefit of not letting the enemy fight back. So it's 11 turns. Nothing going on here. Just to see some Americans cross-bordering. I want to go as north as possible. I want to hit the guy while he's weak. Give as much damage to these guys. You see, if you look at the ratio, it's always favorable. Because of the morale drop, so take advantage. Rush, rush. See? Okay, let's see if I have one more round with better morale, that would be great. No, I already recovered the morale. That didn't last long. But you see, I have so many troops. Let's see. Me surround him. I will ignore this city. Check him if the Americans do something funny. All right, it's time to. Surround. Forty. Okay. 
Rocket artillery are absolutely great for this. Yeah. All right, check, 150, okay, that sound tells us there is no more fortress, so now we can hit him badly, but I also, I want to start get closer to here. Make room. Good. We got him. L2. Level 2 airport. Hmm. There is not a good airport around here to attack these guys. Okay. okay. 14 turns. Take advantage. I didn't want to conquer the city, but I'm obliged. Looks like there's nothing else I can do. Now the Americans starting to counter-attack. I think I have enough rocket artillery, no need to keep spamming. I will focus some investment in air attacks. Okay, let's see, I need to occupy the city, I'll just use that one, and, okay, you wish, I'll let you take my, okay, this is good enough, and now,
Let's get rid of this general, first of all. Okay, I have uh, 10 turns. So, looks like not impossible. Okay, the enemy is pretty much beaten up. So, plenty of money. Let's weaken their defenses. And I will have them this turn. That's it. All right. Thank you for watching.